Many people have said to me, if I could just sit and look over your shoulder while you paint a portrait, I know I would learn a lot. I'm sure this is true. In fact, I've asked that question a few times myself of artists whose work I admire. But for many reasons, that's not really practical. The first one, besides the live sitter being not too crazy about it, is that it's kind of distracting when you're deeply concentrating on making all those thousands of creative decisions as you paint, and you can feel someone's eyes watching every move you make, including the mistakes. So now I'm going to go one better. I put a camera right over my shoulder and painted an oil sketch. So not only can you watch me paint in real time, but also hear me narrate the video and tell you what I was thinking as I made my painting decisions. Much better. I even let the mistakes stay in the video and show how I corrected some of them. By the way, I do make a lot of mistakes. So don't be too hard on yourself as you make mistakes. I don't. It's part of just being creative. You've been watching a speeded up version of the video to give you a taste of how it looks. The actual painting time was about an hour and a half. Through the magic of video, I've crammed it into about 34 minutes. It shows me painting mostly in real time, and I broke it up into two 17 minute segments. People who are already proficient in drawing could skip the first part, which is all about getting an accurate sketch foundation, and get only the second segment where I show how I add the color and finish the painting. But it's a good idea to see how someone else does it. You can take what works for you and forget the rest. Part one takes you through the steps of finding the reference points or spots on the subject that you can use for judging the angles and distances from each other to get an accurate foundation on which to build your painting. I also show a few of the palettes and colors that are used to make this sketch. Of course, it's not going to be the same palette for every painting you do, but this will give you a good start. This first part takes you up to the point where you are ready to start laying down the colors on your foundation. Part 2 continues the sketch, showing how by looking for the colors and values of the different shapes that make up the subject instead of eyes or noses or hair, etc., you can represent these things more easily. Then you will see how to refine them to make them look more realistic. These two videos are crammed with tips and explanations of what I'm thinking as I paint. They are a great starting point for the beginning artist and a valuable source of new ideas for those who want to find ways to improve what they're doing now. It took a lot of time and effort to produce these videos, and I need to pay a service fee to the host server that sends them, so I'm going to have to charge about 14 bucks for each part, or 25 for both parts together. Go to my website at the address on the bottom of the screen for all the information on how to order the videos through PayPal. When you pay PayPal, I'll send a download to your computer so you can watch it over and over to catch all the nuances that you might miss on the first few times through. There's a wealth of information here. Remember, like anything worthwhile, painting portraits takes a lot of practice. The quick practice oil sketch is a great way to learn how to see what you're looking at and really develop your technique as an artist. I hope you'll order my quick sketch videos right now. But most of all, have fun painting.